So is that nagging injury getting in the way of you winning that pickleball match? Well, watch this video to learn more. Can you do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell so you're notified of all my content when it comes out? We put out information on physical therapy, health and wellness, Pilates, and gyrotonic exercise. One of the most popular sports and the fastest growing sport in America right now is pickleball. And what happens with that is we get lots of injuries. My name is Stephen Dunn. I'm a holistic physical therapist, and I've been treating patients for over 20 years. And in the last five years, I've seen a tremendous increase in the amount of patients that want to get back to playing pickleball. And I look forward to helping you. So what is pickleball? Well, according to the NPR article that I pulled up, pickleball is a combination of tennis, ping pong, and badminton that was invented in the 1960s, mid 1960s, in Washington state by a couple of dads, I think three dads. Well, it took some time, but now it has exploded and has become, again, one of the most popular growing, popular sports in America and the fastest growing. And now there are 4.8 million people playing pickleball in America. Compared to just five years ago, that number was half. So what kind of injuries do I typically see with people trying to get back to pickleball? Well, in my experience, I have seen lots of folks with back pain and knee pain. And sometimes they have both, and sometimes it's one or the other. Now, there's other things that I've seen as well, but those have been the most common for me. However, Dr. Andy that works with me, he might have a little different list of the people that he's seen. So with all the stop and go motions, all the lateral lunging and the lateral cuts, and then with all the spinal rotation, that's where we see, that's where, excuse me, I see most of my patients coming in from that situation that comes about with all the pickleball play. So what can I do to get back to pickleball at 100%? Well, the first thing you need to do is get an evaluation with a physical therapist so you can have your injury assessed and your musculoskeletal system assessed based on what has it done since you've had the injury to compensate and basically try to help you out, which is typically causing more harm than good. And with that evaluation, it's a matter of figuring out where your limitations and weak, uh, limitations in strength and limitations in mobility are, and then working to come up with a program to improve those. And by improving your strength, improving your mobility, and getting you back to your recreational activities with a, a, a new sense of strength and a new sense of awareness, that's where we see people getting back to pickleball with the most benefit. So comment below and tell me what you've learned from this video on pickleball. And be on the lookout for our next video coming real soon on the next series, in the next series on our pickleball injuries. So now if you could go check out our blog at our website, www.therapyandpilates.com slash blog, we have lots of great information on pickleball and we'll be adding to it as this, as this is a very popular topic at the facility right now. So now you can go join our Facebook group where we're gonna be giving tips and tricks and creating a community around pickleball in Austin, Texas. Check out the link below and join the group. Do you live in Austin, Texas? Well, give us a call at 512-215-4227. And we'd love to learn more about your injury and, how, and teach you how we can get you back to playing pickleball at 100% and winning those matches again. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.